Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog SensibleMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a Trader Joe's and a Jewel grocery haul with you. We spent right around $57 at Trader Joe's and this is what we brought home. We picked up three bags of green beans. We haven't had green beans from Trader Joe's in a while. It's actually been a little while since we've been there because it's a little, it's a little bit of a hike uh, to get to Trader Joe's. It's not um, around the stores that we normally shop at, so we have to be intentional if we're going to Trader Joe's. So yeah, we hadn't been there in a while, but um, since we made it there today, I decided to go ahead and grab three, be three bags of green beans. And then my husband wanted some of these mozzarella sticks. To me, the bag looks smaller than it used to be. I don't know if they just changed the packaging or they're putting less in there now. I don't know. Uh, it says that there's 16 ounces, so probably the same amount. They probably just um, are making the bag smaller, I guess. But anyway, uh, we got one bag of those. And then we picked up two of these uh, packs of pepperoni because we love the pepperoni from Trader Joe's. It's our favorite and they don't always have it in stock when we're there, but since they had it in stock today, we went ahead and grabbed it. We picked up some green onions to use in different recipes, chili, um, and just to garnish different things. And then we picked up some mandarin chicken. We haven't had this in a while. And so today I picked up two bags and we're probably honestly gonna have this for dinner today because it's a little bit later in the afternoon and um, you know we've been out and everything. So probably just gonna do an easy dinner for this Saturday. And then we haven't had any whipped cream in the house in a while. And that's a sad thing because we like to keep this on hand. I will use it occasionally in my coffee um, as a special treat here and there, but mostly we use it for like if we have ice cream in the house then maybe we make ice cream sundaes or if I make bananas with whipped cream for my kids or something like that. Uh, we just like to have whipped cream on hand. And um, this is our favorite kind, if I didn't say that already. And then we ran out of sunflower oil yesterday. So we picked up some more. We've bought this in the past and really like it. So uh, we grabbed that today. And then we love the salsa from Trader Joe's. So we picked up two jars because again, we're out right now. And then we also picked up some black pepper because I'm about to run out of black pepper. And so we went ahead and grabbed this pepper grinder. And then my husband wanted some more of these mints. We've had these before from Trader Joe's and we really like them. And we picked up some of these hash browns. These are only $1.99. And I can just throw these in the oven or the air fryer and cook them up uh, pretty quickly for my kids. And then my kids have been requesting some buttered noodles. So I went ahead and grabbed four bags of this pasta to make butter noodles. So this is everything that I brought home from Trader Joe's. Now I'll show you guys what I picked up from Jewel. Okay, so at Jewel we spent right around $39 and I feel like we brought home a lot for $39. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna start right here with these tomatillos. We picked up these uh, to make some green salsa. I've got a recipe for the salsa that we're gonna make on my blog and I will include it down in the description box below if you are interested. And also to go in the salsa, we brought home two jalapenos and we also picked up some Roma tomatoes. We hardly ever buy Roma tomatoes um, just because we prefer the tomatoes on the vine, but these were only, 15 cents each today, which is a really good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed some of those. And then the limes were only 10 cents each, so we picked up a bunch of those. I'm gonna be making carnitas um, very soon. I actually made some last week and they turned out delicious. Again, I have a recipe for carnitas on my blog. It's actually in the same blog post as the um, green salsa recipe. So I'll have that link down below as well. But you can't go wrong with carnitas. I have another pork roast. I'm gonna make them again, and we need uh, limes for that. Um, but anyway, we also picked up some bananas for snacking on, and I often make banana bread. So if any of these don't get eaten, I will use them for banana bread. And then the cheese was on sale for only 99 cents a pack. So I picked up two cheddar 
and two mozzarella cheese because that's a great deal and the limit was four so I got the limit and then we never buy ground beef like this but it was on sale today and uh, it was only $2.97 for each one of these so we were like well we can use one to make uh, tostadas and so we're gonna do that very soon make some tostadas and then I will use the other to probably um, brown up some meat to use in uh, meat sauce and things like that. Moving along, we also picked up some onions to use in all sorts of dishes. And I wanna make some rice very soon, so I'll be using an onion in that. And then the petite diced tomatoes were on sale, so we grabbed some of those to put in chili. Um, and then the potatoes were on sale too, but the potatoes did not look very good. So I only ended up grabbing four and I'll probably, we'll probably chop these up and um, like put them together with some eggs or something like that. Something where, you know, we don't need very many. So that's probably what we're gonna do with the potatoes because they were a good deal, but I just wish that they looked better. But anyway, the flour was also on sale. That was only $2, so we picked up some of that. And then my kids are gonna be very excited because they've been asking for ice cream. We haven't been buying ice cream very much lately and they've been missing it. So these were only $2.50 each. So I went ahead and grabbed a strawberry and a mint chocolate chip. And then my husband found these on clearance. They were only, uh, I think he said 62 cents each. So we picked up five bags of marshmallows because I can use these to make Rice Krispie treats for my family, which I love doing. And then I may also use them, you know, in some treats over the holidays. And they're also, of course, perfect for hot chocolate um, this winter. So these will be used for those things. And then Jewel often has, well, I should take that back because lately they haven't been having um, as many free items as they did, I guess, over the summer, but uh, they they had a couple free things today. So they had this uh, core power uh, protein, high protein milkshake uh, in coffee flavor for free. Um, and we went ahead and picked that up. You do have to clip a coupon though first. So if you have a jewel near you, just go to, um, there it's called my mix i think clip that coupon and then you can get this for free so you can only get one and then they also have uh the yogurt free this week so i picked up some yogurt my i have one son who just loves yogurt so he's gonna get that he's already claimed it and i already had him in mind in the store when we bought it so um yeah he's gonna eat that and then finally we picked up some napkins or paper towels i love to have these on hand for easy cleanup, um, sometimes drying dishes. Uh, I put, uh, put these in the bathroom to wipe down counters on a regular basis in the bathroom. And they're just great to have on hand. So, And I almost forgot to mention that we also picked up three 24 packs of this Ice Mountain bottled water. So this is everything that we brought home from Jewel. And now I'm gonna show you guys some health and beauty products that have recently been sent to me. Okay, so first up we have the Cami Pad. And as you can see, I have several here. I've got the organic anti-wrinkle forehead pad and the anti-wrinkle neck pad, as well as an anti-wrinkle chest pad. The folks that work with the Cami Pad actually sent these to me. And these are medical grade silicone gel pads that reduce the appearance of existing wrinkles and they prevent new wrinkles from forming, which is pretty amazing. Uh, they are reusable and they last up to 30 days, which is, I think, fantastic um, that you can use these again and again. And they're also hypoallergenic and eco-friendly and they sound amazing. So I can't wait to get started on using these. Of course, I will have information about them and their website linked down in the description box below so you guys can check them out as well. Next, the folks that work with Oz Naturals were very generous and sent me several products, which I appreciate. First up, they sent me their olive and jojoba oil body butter. It's got lots of good stuff in it. Aloe vera, green tea extract, rosehip extract, shea butter, vitamin B5, jojoba oil, 
and it sounds fantastic it's supposed to help improve skin's elasticity and can't wait to try this out and then over here we've got their vitamin c plus c hydration mask it's got spirulina extract in it among other things and this is supposed to help you create or achieve a uh, dewy youthful glow to your skin which sounds wonderful and then uh, this is basically a face scrub this is their ancient orient bamboo dermafoliant so you mix this with a little bit of water and it's a face scrub so sounds good and then over here we've got their vitamin c facial serum i love face serums i've been using them for years so i can't wait to give this one a try and then over here we've got their ultra ageless eye cream and their uh eye gel their bright eye gel and these two products help with all sorts of things they help with fine lines dryness puffiness dark circles under eye circles and crow's feet among other things so they just sound fantastic and i need these products in my life so i will have information about all these products linked down in the description box below so you guys can check them out as well and finally the folks that work with pure synergy actually sent me some of their enzyme power capsules and i love the packaging i really appreciate that these are 100 percent plant-based digestive enzymes I have heard and seen good things about enzymes online and I can't wait to finally get a chance to try them out for myself. These help with bloating and they help with uh, digestion and discomfort and they just sound really good so I can't wait to get started with using these. If you guys want more information again that will be linked down in the description box below. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.